just trying to decide how we do this cross support up here. I've still got to watch out for the be able to bolt this in, so which means realistically need to be probably above that mark right there. Needs to come over behind the block right here. Probably straight through that area there and then over to the other side. What I'm thinking about doing is taking a piece of pipe, heavy duty pipe, putting a bend in it, fitting out, figure out where it's going to be, kind of hold it in place, and then putting two plates here so that um, they bolt together with one big heavy duty bolt or two big bolts, and so that it holds this across and gives it strength across this way. And that way I can also unbolt it to remove everything to, for paint and prep and everything. What's your thoughts? I don't know, I'm just trying to look like I'm thinking. Teenagers. Yeah, go ahead and put it up there. Cut it long so that I can kind of fit it, but we're going to use plates on it, which means I need to cut it shorter. Because <coughs> I want it to fit still within this. Which we'll cut six inches off. Okay, grab it. Let's go put it in the bandsaw. All right, we got a bit. I think we might have bent it too far. But we will see. We've got more pipe if we need to here. Grab that. Okay. Right, lift it up. Lift it up. All right. Let's set it forward. Forward. Slide in front of the pipe. In front of. You got it recording? Yep. Okay. All right. So we've just cut it down. We've got three bends in it. We're getting all dirty and rusty. Okay. I think we cut it too short. No, 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 no. You're pulling it too far. We're building bar plate mounts to go in oh. here. All right, so we need plate that's Probably eight inches by three inches on this. And then that one, so it's gonna be, are you okay? Yeah. Is it tough? Yeah. All right, so right now Mason and I are working on this cross support. It doesn't look like much, but this is a heavy wall pipe and we're going to weld on some reinforcement to it as well. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll do some something on those bends as well there. So this is half inch thick and a tubing's at least quarter inch thick. It's pretty, it's heavy wall, heavy wall stuff. So I've welded on a couple of supports here in the center to kind of just held it, hold it in place so we can figure out how and where we're gonna put these. These still need to be ground up and cleaned up, but I wanna get them in place and make sure they're going to fit where we want them to. Okay, so we're gonna go get the other side tacked in place and we'll go from there. Maybe what we should do is bend an identical pipe to this and weld it on top of it to support it. To create a real support. I mean, this thing's thick. Show them how thick the end of that is. So, let me touch the screen here. So, in comparison. So, that's half inch plate. So, yeah, it's a pretty thick, pretty stout setup. Alright, so now I can figure out how to get this on here. When I cut this a little too narrow here, and I gotta cut this angle. Alright, so pretty much we have finished up the bar, we welded and we got some bolts to hold the two plates together. We didn't really feel like filming it, so sorry, but yeah, have fun.
All right, so what you're seeing here is us taking off the top of the roll cage because we did not build the back mounts correctly. So we have to take them off, grind them off, off clean them up, pound the metal flat because it's going to be bumping stuff. And then we have to put it back up, weld in the new plates that we have, weld them on one side and leave the other side unwelded so we can take it off. And then pull it back down, clean them up, drill the holes and then put it back up mount up the other ones that are just going to be bolted on and then clean it up a bit what we're going to do we got to okay we've got to cut these plates off these outside ones okay so this one's still on i cut the other one because of it we had to cut out a little weld but don't pop it <laughs> Stinker. I told you that. Okay, all right. So are we going to be using grinder, cutter, sand? Yeah, we're going to use the grinder or the cutting wheel first because we want to make sure we don't compromise the steel. Yeah. Okay? All right? Yeah, that's what's important. So what we'll do is we're going to start with... Yeah, I'm trying to decide how to get these center circle parts out. Well, the easy one's off. Give me that one out of there that has a flat tip, please. So I need you to grind out. These are from those plates that we did before, okay, oh. for the supports here. And then we cut it all off and start it over because it didn't work the way we wanted it to. Okay. It, it kind of worked to mock it up and everything, but I overwelded it in. Yeah, no, I, I, my nickname should be Overweld. Actually, we should do a shirt like that. Overweld. <laughs> you just print that on a welding jacket. That too. Um, so what we need to do right here, make sure that when you're when you're grinding it down, you keep the arch of the pipe and you don't flatten off. Mm -hmm. So grind it down a bit and then use the sanding disc to clean it up. Okay? Alright. Alright. So now I also I put a weld in here to kind of fill a spot where I hit it a little too hard with the torch. So this, if we weld it just like that with a flat edge, it's not gonna have really it's gonna have some strength, mm -hmm. but realistically the shear on that is gonna be massive. We wanna weld that whole thing. So you want so, to Yeah, so we want want the pipe to come, let's see if I can do it the other way so that everybody else can see it. We want it to come down like this so that I can weld all of this in and have a nice weld across it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the grinder and you're going to turn that thing on on edge and literally just grind in and grind as much of that out as you can. It's not right here where it's still holding we it. We want to leave after two we weld spots. Yeah, so yeah. we'll grind everything we can get here, okay? And then I'll weld all that. And then we'll grind this and redo it. Yeah. Yeah. So once we get these done, which they're almost done, 
and get the plugs in the ends of these and up on the on top then we can bolt this into place then that means we can then come up and cut this and get the T in there for the air intake okay and then at that point by the way no these are half inch bolts they're temporary we're going to be doing three quarter inch grade 8 or grade 10 bolts in that anyhow we got to get this done up here okay then we're going to get the air intake part done then we're going to get this done and then once this done is done then we can do the air tanks and when we do the air tank then we do the reinforcement if you do like that that's good okay you do a little bit of and the thing is with the outside what i've done for other people is i told them i'll do all the dimensions i got finished up this and stuff but if you really don't want to work i'll do everything i can just uh, so you throw the dimensions understand. and then do um uh, a light blast remover it so we can so we'll break it up and we'll make it a 10 times easier to sand it. But if you just couple if you stand back and just do a light passing on it. So I told other people I can do it for you as well. I can get all the dimensions for you. All the bends and yeah. stuff. All the and around the holes and all this stuff and all around this and I'll go in, I'll do the outside. You, you make sure something gets this in that edge there too. For sure. So then you know like you said, we'll just break it up so you can sand it easier so we don't warp anything. Yeah. I don't get all of this. I just I was trying to do it out here, but the shadows get so weird. Yeah, no, it's too dark. Especially with the dog was on. But I promise I'll get another one tomorrow. I'm just trying to put it in the first. It's gonna be another week or two before. That's right. We're getting it done. We got past the big hurdle today. But are these the stacks? Yeah, so no, those are the intake. So like the air yeah, so we're cutting here, and it puts a T in it, and it goes right down into the turbo. Okay, that's cool. So, yeah, it's, there's only going to be a little gap, so we we'll put a rubber hose right there. So I've got to put the T in, and then get an adapter on it, and then we can hook it right up to the motor. I do need to scrub and clean these things out really good because there's a lot of metal in there. Yeah.